Let's look up to Jesus and Jesus alone. And when we do that, everyone, every woman will be your sister. Every man will be your brother. Amen. 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 We are all children of God. Amen. Um, I really and And when you look around, just today is an indication that our church is small. Hello? Can you see that? It's small. This is the first Sabbath and we're already full. So what should we do? Don't answer. <laughs> it's a rhetoric question. Implying that we need to move here. This place is big enough to take us. And uh, we know the, the elders, we are going to start rethinking. And as a church, we have to rethink and do something about this place. What we need to do, do it. Change some plans. Just fix it up. Take this wall off. Replace it with movable walls. We will go in there. If you are too much, you're okay. Please, we need the lights. Thank you. Move in there. If we are overflowing, this place becomes overflow. Don't you think so? And if you really, really want to happen, want it to happen, why don't you shout three amens? Amen. Amen. This is our request to God. And we know God will do it. Yes. Brethren, let us not worship here for a year. After a year, we need to move in. Yes. There's nothing impossible before God. Yes. Brethren, what God has done, what He has done, He is going to do it in a swift way. So let's join together. And let's pray about it. And while we are praying, pray that God gives each one of us a gift of giving. Amen? Amen. Brethren, if we pray like that, in his mysterious ways, he will make things happen. So, let it be your prayer. Lord, grant me a gift of giving. Because we want to move to the other, to the real sanctuary. It will happen. Uh, um, he comes from a lot of you. Um, your friend is saying news. Oh, my news. Are my instructions, brethren? Please, oh my this one. This one is for our own benefit. So, oh yeah, be be an answer. Oh 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 you bet this fellowship. <laughs> we need to start being who we are. We need to start giving the due respect to those who look after God's property, God's who does God's bidding. I'm not threatening. I'm speaking the truth. I'm trying to be like Daniel. Amen. Amen. There to be Daniel, God is my judge. Please, let's respect each other. Let's do our best. And also, who said, you know, please respond to it. But sometimes when they see you, they comport themselves. And they respond to it. And to my own five few respect and my biggest because they've done so much. And I want to take this opportunity also to thank all those who have been doing work around here tirelessly. Someone from what was it shiny? Isn't it professionally made? What is that? Our members do that. You know, um, I don't want to mention names, but I want to say those who have been doing all this work. God bless you. Amen. Please keep doing it. And I know, um, I want to say it, but I don't want to say it, but I want to say it, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> I thought uh, Elektri has gone on retirement. Not knowing that 
He's under retirement, but not retirement for God. Amen. 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 And whatever gift that all everyone has, please, move here, you should have. I know some electronics people are here. This is a start of whatever has happened. This is the start of it. We need to do something further. So we need all the intelligence and everything. So when you are called upon, don't even wait to be called upon to do something. So when the BB here, just say, Pastor, I know how to fix this. You know, this is a dream that God gave me. When we are having a worship, every room, whatever is happening, must happen there. That's why we started putting the screens there. When you are having worship, in your career, I can go to corridor. You know what is happening inside. So that if you are praying, you don't open the door. We need to respect God. Remember, we have to come before God with humility, enter his gate with thanksgiving, and with reverence. We need to practice it. Amen? Amen. From what I've been saying, there are some people who have already donated some stuff for the worship. Now, but let's say, you can follow. Now, and Yemen, Bia, Yami, and Presi, Obia, now, some of them have come. Because whatever is in this church had already been dedicated. Amen? Amen. And thank you for those who also came on Wednesday. God used some of us to do a mighty work. And I believe that God is going to do it. So, Uma, say, if God impress on you, whatever it is, you can even buy a mic. But don't go to the Larama to get us a mic. God wants good stuff. I'm not going to say China stuff because a lot of things come from China. But they are graded. God wants the highest grade. Amen? Amen. Yeah, because if they, these people, uh, Swamu Penja, a year, who do say some of them, they don't even have legs to stand on. So we need to change a lot of stuff. Amen? Amen. So, um, you can, are they coming? Okay. Uh, kind of. This is something. Grace to be Oh, okay. And now, Israel for a And then you have to go as here. Mana means what is that? I nearly asked the same question. Mana. But what here, uh, one of our members have uh, donated this um, bottle. Oh, okay. All right. So what it is, is uh, we will hang a low size. But when we move, we're going to move it to, our play, uh, to, to the sanctuary. When we have hymns and whatever it is, it's part of the program. And uh, we thank the... Uh, uh, for having this in mind even before we moved in he had it in mind and this is the best do you know why it's the best it's made in Ghana yeah. amen? amen better than China <laughs> because Ghana stuff stays China dies <laughs> and praise God for that Brother, this, is, this is an example of what I was saying and also someone has donated uh, a guitar. And I heard that the guitar will be coming here. I left the guitar for God. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. All right. The guitar. I, I don't know where it's ma it was made, but... <laughs> we will say thank you to Sister Doris. Amen. Amen. Sister Doris, yeah? Doris. Oh, Joyce. Sister Joyce. Day. And we thank you very much. 
Um, whatever you, you, you know, the Lord impressed on you, just bring it for his worship. It got to a time, Moses has to say, enough. We want to say that statement. I want to say, brethren, hey, yo, this is the age of a baby see. You will be able to get anywhere to put this stuff. But you haven't reached there. This is the start of it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Shall we all stand? We thank you for being our provider. And we thank you for being our sustainer. And we thank you for people that you impress to do things for your work. This time, these equipments are being bought just to give glory unto you. And so, Lord, we pray that you anoint them spiritually. That these things will be used only to your work. And also we pray that you bless those or those pockets that this money came from. Father, we are also committing those who have been working in this building day in and day out. And we pray that you bless them. Any time they're spent, Father, do not let them call it wasted. But bless them. And continue to be with those who may be impressed in future also to do something good or to donate something good for your church. Father, we lift this church and remember us one more time unto you. We pray that you bless us today. And let your face shine upon us. And Lord, as we were speaking, we are talking about a sanctuary. For we know that there's nothing impossible before you. And so, Lord, we pray that you make way, even when there is no way, that your children will be able to work on the sanctuary for us to grow in you, to lead people to the kingdom. We thank you for greater things you're about to do. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please.
God in young couple. We are grateful for this day. For ushering us into a new year and for coming to your presence. We thank you. Please come divinely close. Prepare and accept our worship. In Jesus' name. When we planned to build this church for heritage, just to glorify God, we could do that, you know, not just say, you know, it got to a point where it felt very disappointed when it comes to giving to the Lord. Now, I feel a chair when I said last Sabbath, you know, ah, you know, 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 we saw the effort that we were making when we heard that we were coming into this church today. So you all believe with me that God's ways are wondrous and many. No human being can have an in-depth understanding of the Lord. And the way we started and prayed that we're going to progress that way so that our membership will increase. And I would like to seize this opportunity to welcome all of us to today's worship. Is that we alone that are meant here to worship? We have loved ones that have joined us to worship today. Now, you think I am in your meeting? Aye, Mark, if you say I will free first Ghana, New York, as a phone number. So, first thing that I have is Mark, if you say. Amen. You're welcome. And now, you are talking to what? We say in your meeting, you bring them in. Uh, Asafo, a J R three uh, Mountain View S E Church, Ghana. Benjamin, yes. brother, you're welcome. When you buy a drink, say the prayer will be more than your mo. It din, I will have it. And you know, the best part of when you show na, you know, na se wana, 
you know, I did the Kaya, Omni and so as heritage, you know, who people don't know, and I have can't amen. I'm on. You will agree with me that there are lots among us that we couldn't get a name, so we will ask you to get up so that we can say a big amen for worshiping with us today. Those of you that we didn't get a name, please stand up, wave your hands, and let's say a big amen to you. Okay. So you know, beside the man, you know, I'm my own Amen. Yeah. And you know, you're not my man. You're too far now. Every day, you have to turn on the app to say you want to be a church. I want you to be my apaba. Apa. And then you make it. Oh, it's different. We call upon the praise team to usher us into the worship. Let's all sing and greet ourselves. Amen. I wasn't the pilot. 
Anna, a boy, you know, see, you beat your young opportunity. I be genasi and twin man. Messia, who be to massa, we are red capital. Now the was an old child. Amen. I'm ready to give you a little
must know that we wanted this for so long and God has answered our prayer. If you're happy to be in the house of the Lord today, say amen. amen. We're now entering the worship portion of praise and worship and the first song we are going to sing is I Fear.
if it have not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive. But blessed be to the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. The Lord made our soul escape like a bird from the fowler's snare. And the psalmist said, God even broke into pieces just now. For he is our help. In ages past, our very soul, he is our hope for years to come. Maybe this week or past days, you have been going through some kind of struggles. And the Lord has rescued you. I want you to take a step of faith forward. For us to give our praises together to Him. The one who has redeemed us. Who has protected us. Out of these slippery roads, some of you have already been turned. But the Lord always kept you on the road. And you want to just say thank you to God. And I want you to take this step of faith forward. Heavenly Father, Lord of the Sabbath, your children have responded to your invitation. We have come here because of who you are and because of what you have done for us, which we cannot tell at all, but we've come before you. Just to go down our knees, standing before you, to lift up our cup of salvation. Amen. Knowing that only you, God, who has been our strength, and you are the only one who has the power, redeeming us, sustaining us, and providing for us. And so we come just to say thank you. Amen. We thank you for being a God. Who always inhabits our praise. And so, Lord, we've come to praise you for being so kind to us. We come to praise you for being so faithful, even in our own faithfulness. You've been good to us. And so, Lord, we are standing before you just to say thank you and to bless your name because you are holy God. Who do not live with sin, but you love the sinner. And so, Lord, we've come. Some of us are here just to say, Lord, as we respond to your invitation, you said, though our sins be as scarlet, you can transform it and make it as white as snow. And so we've come with our weakness. Father, some of us, we are come, we come here because we walk on the path that we are not supposed to walk. We've seen things that we are not supposed to see. We've even spoke about things that instead of blessings, we curse. Knowing that only you who hate sin, but you have remedy for the sinner. That's why we're here, Lord. We 
pray that you have mercy on us. We pray that you forgive us. And you also said in your word that when you forgive us, you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please cleanse us. For we know there's power in the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we have come here just to receive that power. We pray that you sanctify us and make us holy again. So that by the time we leave this place, we will be the same. And so, Lord, we thank you, Lord of the Sabbath. You'll be performing miracles. When Jesus, you walk on this earth, during the Sabbath day, you perform a lot of miracles. You heal the sick. Someone who couldn't walk 38 years, you spoke to the person and the person walked. To the extent that someone even touched the hem of your garment, and the person go hold. Father, this hour, some of us have come with our weaknesses. We pray that you heal us spiritually. For it to manifest physically. Some of us, sometimes we don't, we're even ashamed of talking about our deeds. But Father, who knows our hearts? Who understands us? Jesus, you know our infirmities. You walk on this earth like us. You were tempted, even though you didn't fall. But Father, we are still struggling. Please, look through your son Jesus and place his righteousness on us. Hear our voice and give us strength in place of those weaknesses that we will leave this place clean. Father, those who are sick, touch them. Those who are in this temple who don't have jobs, as they leave this place, Father, lift up your hand. Raise up a banner. Amen. Raise up a standard. Amen. And if the enemy is blocking them, clear him out. Amen. And make way for us. Amen. For your people, we are your inheritance. Please have mercy upon us. Heal us. Provide for us. And if there's a family here that are experiencing turbulence in their either marriage or with the children, Father, we lift them before you. Amen. Please touch our children. Amen. Save our children. Amen. Don't let the enemy triumph over them. Or even our relationship. Please have mercy upon us. Amen. And we thank you for attending us. Some of us may have silent prayers. Some of us even cry. Our tears drown us in the night. Only you know. Please, if we have such people here, attend to their plea. Answer them. Let the tears which are prayers that cannot be, words cannot be used to describe those prayers. My Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Who understand every drop of tears. Who even takes the groanings of our heart that we cannot express in words. We pray that you allow, allow the Holy Spirit to do so. To present our request before you. For we know that the more we praise you, blessings will come down. Bless every person in this temple today. Bless our children, the children's family. Bless everyone within the vicinity of this place and let us not leave this place without any blessing. Amen. We thank you for blessing us. Amen. We thank you for hearing us. Amen. And we thank you for lighting our burdens. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
as I invite the, 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 the Rani. And the Rani has been doing a good job here. And uh, as you see, he's got a strap in covering the, the left hand. He had a testimony to give. And we want you to um, give that testimony. And Brethren, let me say this. When you accept the call of God, don't let any circumstances
before we pray, I just want to say to you standing here that you have to consider yourself as a special people. The Lord has called you for a special task. And the Lord expects you to show him up wherever you find yourself. God wants you to be like Daniel. Even in the difficult times, you need to lift up the load wherever you find yourself. In your classroom, you need to let them know that God is real. Especially when they start teaching you the theory of evolution. Let them know that there is a theory that has never been disproved called the theory of creation. And you have to be bold to stand for that. And I heard that one of you had been able to stand in your school and now they have changed the class curriculum. Amen. One of you, I won't mention name. So, God is still using people like you. Even in this world where sin all wrong seem right. Yeah. So you need to do something. Let's buy his for prayer. Heavenly Father, these are the children you've given to us. These are the children that are ready to be used by you. These are the children who even in their weaknesses, knowing that you are God of grace, you can change them and use them. As they are bowing their heads before you, we thank you for such children, for students, young adults, adults. Father, we commit them unto you, God. Amen. You said in your word that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should come to you who is the source of all knowledge and wisdom, and ask of you. Father, we are asking of wisdom and knowledge upon those standing before you. Even those who were not able to be here due to some circumstances beyond their own control. We pray that you use these students standing before you as points of contact to their friends, to their family members. We pray that you touch each one of them. If anyone is having any weakness, Lord, please, in Jesus' name, change that person. Seal that person with the Holy Spirit. And grant that person strength in place of that weakness. If anyone is suffering from any subject, that whenever they hear about it, especially mathematics, Please, change their minds and provide a means for them to cross it. Father, be with your children in any subject that they learn. Bless our children to be heads in their classes, not the tail. And let them be leaders that even if they are not a leader in class, but their character can lead others to you, God. Father, as you bless them, bless their families. Amen. Financially. Amen. Emotionally. Amen. And Lord, let the families be able to provide and to shelter things standing before you. We thank you for greater things you're about to do in their lives. And when time is tough, during the examination times, for the reveal yourself to them. Amen. Let them come to realization that you are with them. When they become depressed, let your angel reveal himself to them. Amen. Provide every opportunity for them to know that they are not alone wherever they find themselves. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. And thank you for blessing them. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Go back to your seat. And remember, God is with you.
us we have all the
and the social department is also thanking all congregation for the successful party that you had at the end of the year. Uh, the whole Ontario conference, a software in a penny and a software dance. Just under the hymn of meditation, the voice that you hear, that's the one who is going to break the bread of life for us today. It's going to be Pastor Dancing, the boss for the pastors in Ontario. Now, a software, I can't make me, I can't a software. Say if we buy 2005, the no, no, So the only thing that I can say about Pastor is that ever since I met him in 2005, Pastor has been static. It's just as he was when I met him. There's a little bit of a white background. I'm so bad. I'm so so on it. My friend Linda, I'm in Kwalani. I was so my friend was having a picture with one. Yeah, just a Pastor is here with the family. Welcome
if God has been good to you, why don't you say amen? Amen. For I know for a fact that God has been good to me. As Elder Samoa was recounting 18 years ago, Linda and I were talking that yeah, since we've been to Canada, we have we have been here now 18 years, seven months. So I remember just telling one of the um, directors, I said, "Well, I'm an adult in Canada now." <laughs> I was speaking to a pastor friend of mine and we were reminiscing and I remember that particular day when the call came from the Ontario Conference President at that time, Elder Nichols, when he called me to come here and to serve. And I was sharing with him what God can do. Okay, every, uh, you see, we never know where God is taking us. We just don't know what God can use us to do. Thinking and thinking through, I remember Pastor Mangwa and I, we went to a place called Oibi for the first time. Those of you who know Valley View University now, OEB had a place where we were right there when they were roofing the place. They were roofing it for us to sleep in that structure. It was a shed, no windows. The place was full of scorpions and snakes. But you see, if you look at what God can do, you only say glory be to God. Because sometimes we forget. We forget where we came from. And it's, I will share this with the young people. You see, sometimes you don't even fathom. You don't even envision what God can use you to be. To do. At Valley View, none of us had even a plan of coming to Canada. Canada was not in the question. We heard that some people were through connection in the 88, that there were several people from Tafo coming through and coming to Canada. We had all of them. The group Canada it wasn't in the plan. But God has a way of doing his thing. I remember one afternoon, Pastor Donko and I were sitting in his house at that time. I lived with him for six months. Was it six months or a year? A year, one year, yes. Once a year. So, yeah, six months by myself and six months later joined us. So, it's, we were talking and um, he said, Pastor, the church is big, we need to start another church. And now that you are here, I believe my hands can be a little free and we can begin that. And so he told me, he was, if you know Pastor Donko's house, it was a place where his keyboard was. That's where he wrote his songs in that corner. When you enter the house, that little corner, he said, Bring the paper and pen. I saw him, he said, Bakrata, and then we started writing the names. And funny enough, we brought it to the board. And Pastor, we were actually we were all surprised. We thought we were going to get blowbacks from the board. And that even said, Board Omar. To what we say. But Pastor Donko started with the leaders. Pastor started with the and And then he mentioned those who can lead the place, the, the, um, the church plant. Now, Shasta so we bought one on which we did a story anyway. And the board were in agreement. The board is on the And then he looked at the software. But you know, Pastor Donko, software. 
So I had a list and I started reading the list down. And um, only God, it is God who did it. And sometimes you see, God uses human beings to glorify Himself. We have to be careful not to take any glory because all glory belongs to him. Coming to this property and the dedication, I know some of you have physically given your all. But you're not done yet. Pastor, the one is left from what I can see from my little experience in construction now. I have, by God's grace, God knows what he's doing, you know. The little I got here, it helped me when I got to Ruth, and it helped me when I got to Scarborough. So somehow, I was picking up all these experiences that I just did not even know. But from what I know, what is left, it's not that much. Except the car park, but what is left here is not that much. So I know God can do it. It just takes faith. You see, sometimes we limit God with what God can do with us. You see, money has never been the problem in God's church. The problem has been us with our limited faith. Because when we take the step, God provides the resources. But sometimes we are so measured that we think that God, this is how we do it. It wouldn't make sense for us to do it this way. No, when you are following God, you go in faith, knowing that He will do it for you. So I know that God has been good to us. And the reason why I'm not going through the protocol as I normally do, as I said, I'm still on vacation. So it's a Monday. Still I'm on vacation. It's interesting as you travel around the conference, I travel around the conference. There is something that we have. We have a lot of children. And I'm also so happy to see them all participating. That they are all in the church. But we have a lot more to do. We have a lot more to do. So I want to thank God, Pastor. These days I need to use my glasses. I try to refuse, but it's um, well, I'll see. It's better, Pastor. Still, in some way, I'm really awesome. I'm trying not to use it, but um, it's. And we live, ours, we live in a self serving age. We live in a self serving age when it's interesting that everything we do is about me, myself, and I. And so there's a story that somebody wrote and he said, um, just talking about this, there was a farmer who wanted, uh, who was single and he wanted a wife. And so during that time, this is everything is online, but during that time, he put this advert in the newspaper. He said, man, 35, wants woman, about 25, with tractor. <laughs> Send the picture of the tractor. <laughs> and so the man was he said, okay, man 35 wants a woman about 25 with tractor. Send picture of the tractor. So he's interested in the tractor and not the woman. You see, some of us have often had some difficult queries. How often have we taken an interest in others? 
pen say na in your interest or for 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 so apart from the any answer here could somebody describe you as humble we bit me a ka wasam say we you be a wojo or proud and i'll say we are untidy and if they could why would they say that about you so bit me a ka san say me a for one i dey it na o mo e ka sa i want us to ponder a few minutes about the outward look because say the chance dey dey um abontin dear say Then we need a new man in way more name of the war about him. Father, you're ready. The time has come now, please. Everyone has to speak to us. As a train, this vessel is available. Please use me. It's strong, so for me so for the Lord to know well. So the Lord open it to you. In Jesus' name, yes, it is. See from the onset in the book of Philippians elder thank you so much in the one of the psalms of ascent as they were going to Jerusalem there was something beautiful that the Israelites sang and they sang that it's how wonderful it is for the families as they journey together the beauty of camaraderie say Israel follows the omo to kwai abom say enije a omo fa edi tuero And so he describes and he describes a metaphor that they were going and they could see the wonderful thing the blessings of God and, and that and comes around them and what seems to be the one has bound them together. And so it talks about like it's beautiful like the dew of heaven because it comes and it sprinkles on everyone that was there and so this is it something that was happening paul in writing to the philippians had that same sense of unity right paul ocho sama koma philip for no sana samia bi ina na e wonu tree and so he maintained that a church as a whole there is something about it that it's important that we promote unity amongst ourselves and see a sorbia no e hu hia say you did and so Paul and starts with Philippians addressing all the sins to all the sins in Jesus Christ who are in Philippi it means every member there he called everyone a saint and I'm not afraid of be how ye na me chicken ni bia no say we are what you for and so if Paul were to write to heritage now to all the sins at the heritage Ghanaian church it is like a Paul culture and simply a brand heritage at the side of it comes to and so he continues and he shared something that was something with them now he talks about Christ that Christ it's important that Christ is preached every day and all the time and with every aspect of their lives yo kasa e wose yesu e wose e kan wo sam e for the whole world che amansa ni na abrevia and he talks about how they should live in christ as 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 christians how they should live together as christians okay o kan se de be ya or you be tie to nasi se a christopho amapa and as they live as christians he talked about the difficulty the problems and the challenges that they will face the opposition that will come their way as they strive to live together now what nasi se christo ni amapa na so o kan and so he ah e be ba so And so the latter part of first Philippians chapter 1 verse 27 he talks about he said only let your conduct be worthy of of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come and see you or I'm absent I may hear of the affairs that you stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel that was your reason for being say and no and an a church say omo ye akiso one spirit omo ba one mind a jere ba striving together for the faith of the gospel say omo e tu and my abom e say ji ye a owo e wo one spirit omo ba one mind Okay, I'm really bad. Striving together for the faith of Jesus Christ, the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, I want to pray about 
And so Paul was identifying the challenges that, listen, people will come and give you pressure. People will come and talk about and pressure you and bring difficulties. But if you are of one mind, because of the gospel, if you have one body, because of the gospel, if you have one spirit, because of the gospel, then nothing, nothing would deter you from doing what God has called you to do. He develops this further by coming to chapter 2. I would like Elder someone to please, if you don't mind, read um, chapter 2, 1 to 4 for me. Maybe 1 to 5. I don't know how to read it. I don't know how to read it. I don't know how to read it. If there is any encouragement in Christ, if any fellowship of affection, he says, complete this by being of like minded, by being the same, of the same spirit and of the same purpose, one purpose. <laughs> Let each of you not. So he talks about. So here he talks about. It's an interesting. Paul is saying that due to the blessings that you have received in the church by Jesus Christ. After saying that, so he starts with therefore. If there is any, what the translation should be that therefore there is consolation in Christ. It means that there is consolation in the church of God. There is consolation in the church of God. Because Jesus Christ brings that consolation. And he talks about, yes, if there's any comfort of love, yes, there is comfort of love in the church. Because Jesus Christ brings that comfort of love. And so there has to be the fellowship of the Spirit. And so when the Holy Spirit takes over, there is something about you that makes you different, that everyone wants to know. That it means there is something in the church that you have. And if there is any affection of and mercy, it means that when I step on your toes, I get I'm forgiven. And you give mercy, you give something, an undeserved favor to your brother and to your sister. And he says, it is in the church. And so it is, if that's in the church, then it's important that the lesson that I want us to learn. It's important that we are careful, as Christ says in verse 3, he talks about, then he says, then fulfill my joy. If this is all in the church, then fulfill my joy by being like-minded. Like-mindedness. He's not talking about uniformity. But he's talking about one, we are all focused on. On one and who is Jesus Christ. Amen. And so it's important that we understand that one, we are like mindedness in the outward look of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that we have the same love. We love each other because love is the calling card of the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
And he talks about being in one accord. It means that we all come to a comfortable compromise. Understanding that Christ Jesus is because of which because we are here. And it's because of Christ Jesus that we are going to go forward, looking outward, knowing that Jesus is the one who is leading us and is the one who is helping us to get to where he wants us to get to. And so if you forget anything, number one, let me so say this, let me make three, yeah, two points yeah. and then we'll go. Yeah. Number one, unity demands for us to be together. For us to be really united heritage. It demands humility. It demands humility. James 4.10 says, Humble yourself before the Lord and He will lift you up. James 4.10 was saying, Humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand and He may lift you up in due time. 1 Peter 4, 1 Peter 5, 6. And so verse 3 talks about something that can really destroy unity. He says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. Selfish ambition or conceit. In fact, it denotes, it talks about self-seeking rivalry. In fact, it has this thing of this thing in the in the mind, the Greek. It talks about people who pull factions. And this people who cause factions or people who mean to say, seem to be seen to be winning followers to their side. Lining up supporters, power plays or cliques. to me, you know, I can see. And so this is this is what he's talking about. For unity to happen, then be careful. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition. Try to get a group to be of my mindset. Thinking that my mindset is what should rule and reign in God's church. And so be careful that you don't allow selfish ambition to override the overall word of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so this is all, there's a second word that he used. He used some words as vain glory and he used conceit. He says, through selfish ambition or conceit. And the American Standard Version talks about vain glory. It's a groundless self-esteem or empty pride. See, taking glory without any reason. That's me here. Look at me. Glory without any reason. You have not done anything, but you want to take glory for what God has done. See, eager for empty glory. That's that's the meaning. It means this you concede. It means that you have to be careful that you are not seeking for empty glory, something that does not belong to you. And so it says, let nothing be done out of things that will promote factions within the church. All things that will bring people or groups who want a vain glory or seem to be looking for something to promote themselves. Unity is destroyed by these motives. And so Paul talks about let nothing be done out of this. So everything you do at heritage, let it not be about the pastor. 
Because your software and power may not be here forever. Pastor Donko was here, he is gone. Pastor Donko was here, was here, he is gone. And so Amangwa will be here and he will also be gone. There has been several elders since you came here, starting with Elder Trevor. There has been several elders now to Elder Gordon. Several held elders and several elders will come and go. The church is not about any individual. The church is about Jesus Christ. And always remember that this is about Jesus Christ. Every one of us have a right to be here. And so can Heritage Church be a church where people can come and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit? The question of the Musa will say, a heritage, a sorry, and if I bit me a baha, nothing, or maybe a where people will come and they'll feel the palpable love of Jesus Christ. Where they will sense the sense of camaraderie, the sense of unity of God's people. Because why? Because we are all focused on Jesus Christ. You see, there are several churches that we know the history of here in Ontario. And because of this particular thing, me, myself, and I, me, and then we are The churches are dying. I know those churches. Because there are some people who stood up and they think this is my church. He said, You don't want my church? Go down that road. But God has a way of revitalizing his church. My prayer is that heritage will be a different church. Heritage, sorry, may a sorry so called. A church that is united. Sorry, a couple of that nothing is done through selfish ambition or conceit. But rather, he says, in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. You see, when you come to a group like this. Remember that we all have various opinions. So when we come together and the decision is made, you may not like it, but that's where the cast, the Lord were casted. Let it go. Let God be God. Because if it's God's will, it will thrive. If it's not, it will come back to where God wanted it to be. And never ever think, yes, I told you so. It's never about you. Because the idea you have, somebody else may have had the same idea. And so I must let nothing be done through selfish ambition, but in lowness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Imagine this, that you come to church thinking about the other person, thinking how can I help my brother, my sister to be a better Christian than I am. So How can I help my sister, my brother, on their spiritual journey to be the best that God wants them to be? 
And so this demands that we look out for the welfare of others before ourselves. It's important that we look out for the welfare and the interest of our others. It doesn't mean that we should be busybodies, you know, gossiping about everybody, trying to poke our nose in other people's business. It's important that we talk to each other, not about each other. You see, this is something that has really hurt most of our churches these days, you know, I can speak freely. I was telling someone, well, I go to a church and then I share what I have to share. The pastor may not like it, the members may not like it, but I will go my way. I've gotten to a point where we have to be careful not to say present truth. Now to share present truth. Well, share what you say. A dream maybe I just say in the Ukraine or in the Ukraine so we then oka oka she oka she. You see, we have to be careful not to talk about people. If you see that your brother is going through a challenge, your sister is going through a challenge. So who say we will be air cook man here be one. You have your own challenges too. So Are you willing to draw closer to them? Why Walk beside them. and help them to be the best that God wants them to be. See, that's where we are going as a conference. We and I conference. We are looking at people who will be disciples of Jesus Christ. Disciples of Jesus Christ are those who help others get to know Jesus. And so it's important that we are there to help one another, to hold one another, and to build one another up to become the best that God wants them to be. You see, sometimes we just don't know what God can do with each and every one of us. You are important to God. I'm important to God. And because of that, we are all God's family. It's important we understand that. And so verse 4 talks about look, let each of you look out. He develops the same concept. Let each of you look out, not only for his own interest. But the interest of others. So it's simply this. It's never about you. It's about how God can use you to help the next person. That is the outward look. How can God help me to be able to be the best that I can be so that Brother Francis Edudonko can also be the best that God wants him to be? Francis, so, which me So my brother Francis may be walking with a limp. Which me said that But can I be the crutch so that he can walk straight without judging him, but allowing God to work on him so that he can walk straight by himself? And so it's important that we understand that. This is what God has called us to do. Because of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you and I have been called here to help one another so that we all will see Jesus. 
And he talks about this by when he continued in verse 5, when he talks about Jesus, he gives an example of who Jesus, what Jesus did for us. If you read from verse 5 all the way to verse 11, it talks, this is what the theology is talking about. They talk about Kenosis chapter. This, the Kenosis verses, this is talks about Jesus Christ, an example of what we should do. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Creator. Jesus. Jesus the Redeemer he submitted himself to be united to give up pride and humble himself to accomplish something so that he can save a rascal like me so Jesus sacrificed Jesus submitted himself. And with steadfastness, Jesus went to the cross. And so that is what he's asking of us. Can we sacrifice? My pride said, Can I sacrifice so that my brother? will be the best. My sister will be the best. Can I submit myself to the leadership of God and to the leadership of my brother or my sister will also get to know Jesus so that others will get to know Jesus. And and will I be steadfast that yes, there will be challenges, there will be problems on the way that I don't give up, but I continue sacrificing, I continue submitting. Stories told of one little girl that got lost. And this kid wandered into the bush of tall grasses. The entire village searched all day. They couldn't find the king. But a child was found that night. In fact, at some point, some of them could not sleep, so they decided to do something. So they decided to hold hands and search every inch of the land. And so they started doing that. And they did find the child. And this was the, the cry, the lament, the anguish lament of the mother. If only we had held hands together earlier. If only we had held hands together sooner. Heritage, if you hold your hands together, heritage, say so there are several people dying out there. Who need Jesus Christ? That you have been called to help. If only we hold hands sooner. Submerge our pride. Look out for the interest of others. And understand that God has called us for a special purpose. This place is smaller to what God can do. This church can be a mega church. Sorry, which a sorry, 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 a
I believe that is a car walker got this so well and he talks he talked about he said I need you you need me we are all part of God's body and he talks about stand with me agree with me we are all parts of God's body it is his will that every need be supplied you are more important to me you are important to me I need you to survive Everybody, it's important that we understand that God has called each and every one of us to hold hands together, to lock hands together so that we can walk together and then help somebody to get to know Jesus. And so as we sing, I want us to, those of you who, are, who want to make this commitment that God help me so that I will be able to do everything, not through my selfish or conceit, but rather through the loneliness of mind, Lord, help me to sacrifice, to submit, so that God can use me to do his, his, to do his work. Why don't you stand with me? Why don't you stand with me? Why don't you join us? I need you to Sacrificing our justified opinion, sacrificing our honor, our dignity, so that we can help some child of God struggling through life's path. We need each other. Help us to have that sensibility that, Lord, without you, we just can't do nothing. So help this church 
to have that outward look. That as we look up to Jesus, as we have an approach that you will help us to be the best we can, love each other in a united front, understand that it's never about us. That pride will be submerged. That cliques will be destroyed. But together, Christ Jesus will rule and reign. We thank you we need each other. We thank you help us to pray for one another. We thank you help us not to hurt each other with words from our mouth, but rather to bless each other with words from our mouth. Help us to walk in unity, united in Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing us and thank you for blessing us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. So it's a real blessing to have pastor here today. So we thank you. Amen. I'm not sure to be anything. I want to now pursue you to go out with the baby. Is anybody here that celebrated his or her birthday this time? It was a and we have to pray for such a person. And I feel so good also. I was so in the school, be our yellow, or didn't anniversary. And if there's anybody who is also celebrating any form of anniversary, ever born by a mom, we will also pray for such a person. But you're one friend about Cynthia Amre Ama or my Edmundsi. Please call our sister Cynthia. See, I can't remember me last year, and only Papa Edra Baby. If we, if our memory serves us right, she lost her dad last year. God willing, she'll be flying back to Ghana for And because of that, we have to pray for her. I know, say, we went to cry a few years ago, but Bosumi was also a bit too quiet, so I knew the I know some of you might be traveling this year, but if you're traveling this month, so who took care of you as a European? No, but we are also be a Muslim in Mongolia. If you travel to an Ambon, I won't bring any Ambon. To the US, to Europe, or even to Ghana, please come forward and let us pray for you. Okay. In the West, it's called the Camel. Last week in Michiano, at the bar, you share a joint service. And then Michiano, even when we more back of Gano, it is only a Lobia Comuno, as no big fear, no application not to go. No person who are back to Barbara, city city, sitting down in two dollars. It was one of the dollars in the green. It had a dollar in the green. Please let us all stand up and pray. We thank you for giving us the portion of our lives here this year. Any public being everyone has to be crying in hospital. Ah, Omo, Amanya, Nelson, Yeke, Omo, Nya, 
when you want to win and quite so, oh, dear, kind of one. Yeah, you're telling me about the name of the woman who bought all him. Long as I was here, lots of people have passed away, and if we are still alive, it's not because of our righteousness, but it's all because of your grace. Yet, I am on by him, he said. The reason why we pray is this. Most of us are celebrating their birthdays this month. And you've poured your blessings upon lots of people in some of even celebrating their wedding day. And most of our brothers are also traveling. Oh yeah, according to four, about four. You are the father of all traveling. In the to Ghana, some of us travel to Ghana. Now what do you want to do? I can't watch you. You don't shake your head. Glory be to your name. As I said, when you be a man, you know, you know, when you move, you must have full power. You know, you are the shrewd one. You know, you must have full power. You know, since you've done it in the past, we know that when we ask you again, Father, you will do that for us. It's one I want to birthdays and no more. Oh, my anniversaries, no more. I want to go in. Ah, so that will be a show. So we commit everybody into your hands. Those that those that are celebrating their birthdays and those who are traveling. Ajay, so Jesus, you must come with my hand. Father, be with them all. Ne shy, ye hear the na. So I say you can do everything and bless us with all our needs. But because Father, you are capable of doing everything. But we shy, no we shy. As a funini na. Whilst you're blessing us, we ask that you bless the whole congregation. Both heritage and church, and heritage. Both heritage and art world. Ye slose e japa. So, Father, we are asking that you bless all of us. We thank you for listening to us. Glory be to thy name. Amen. Amen.